Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to get some answers about Army Hammer. He just had this big interview with Airmail. Is he telling the truth? Is this real transformation, real change, real accountability? Or is this, feel sorry for me, I want my career back? We'll find out. I think we've done one other video on Army Hammer before and he hasn't gotten great cards. So that doesn't really surprise anyone. So he's a, uh, a Virgo sun with a Gemini rising and a Gemini moon. Wow, that's very difficult. So what this means is that he's ruled by Mercury up the wazoo. It kind of reminds me of like Kendall Jenner's chart. She's a Scorpio with like an Aries rising and an Aries moon. That's like Mars, 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 Mars energy. God of war, God of war. So Mercury is the planet which rules communication. So written, digital, spoken. So I would imagine that words, communication is very important to him. One would hope that he wouldn't take words lightly or the truth lightly. But then again, we have so much Gemini in his immediate chart. I'm just not sure how seriously uh, to take, you know, his allegations of sexual abuse or the fact that he denies any sexual violence. He was, he was charged with rape by Effie of House of Effie, uh, is her Instagram handle apparently. And the charges were later dropped, and he said that it was like a consensual, non-consensual scenario, uh, meaning like uh, what I would assume is like two people like, you know, getting together to enact, you know, a darker fantasy. But then if one person is like, no, actually, that was rape, I wasn't participating, that would be a very big deal. So he, he did not, he says that he was indeed emotionally abusive. Uh, but that there is never any, you know, sexual or physical violence against someone. So I don't know if this is the truth or if sometimes what abusers will do is they'll admit to like a smaller wrongdoing, but then the big one, they'll, they'll be like, no, no, no. Or like they'll tell you one bit of truth and then lie about something else. It's a, it's a common technique of manipulation. It's like when liars tell you something embarrassing before they lie to you. It's so that it's to establish a sense of truth where they're like, look, I'm telling you this embarrassing thing about myself. Why would I, why would I want to tell you something like that? You know, I must be telling the truth about everything, you know? So it's, Gemini is a, is a very tricky sign uh, to deal with. And, you know, I say that, you know, establishing that I've said on this channel a number of times that my favorite boyfriend of all time was a Gemini. He's a May Gemini, so closer to Taurus, closer to that earthy stability of Taurus. But yeah, you know, I still think of the guy and I still look him up from time to time and he was just extremely smart. So he was, he was a great example of the busy Gemini mind that needs like constant stimulation. So he was like studying all the time and taking all these extra classes and really difficult ones that he didn't have to take but wanted to anyway. Anyway, my concern about Army Hammer is that he's from one of the wealthiest families in America. That he's a tall white guy. He's a tall, handsome white guy from one of the, like, the most, the wealthiest, most privileged families in America. And I'm just kind of like, I'm having a little trouble believing that all this, you know, personal accountability and transformation is actually happening. So, you know what I say, let's just ask the cards, right? Okay. So he tells a story about being suicidal. Was that a real suicidal moment? Do you know what I mean? Where he's like, I swam out to the ocean and I was like, oh, maybe the sharks will eat me or I'll drown. But then I thought of my kids and I had to swim back. I was like, really? Like suicidal people, they kill themselves. Like, I mean, was he swimming out in the ocean and just had this passing thought or was he like, I'm really just gonna swim out there till I die? And he's a big guy, like he's such a strong swimmer, like he'd really have to be in a riptide for something meaningful to happen. Do you know what I mean? So I was a little skeptical of that. You guys can say that I'm a, like a, a cynical person, so what have you. Okay, did the sexual abuse actually happen? Okay. He says that he told two people at the time and that it was corroborated by a grandmother that actually happened. If it did, his behavior makes complete sense. So if that being true, that would explain all the dark fantasies, the need for control, the need to sort of like live out these like darker scenarios where he's calling the shots. So that would make sense in theory for sure. Number two, uh, was it with a youth pastor? Because I'm just like, well, with a youth pastor, that they can trace. It's not like, you know, the, the guy on the park bench 
you know, like youth pastor, that's, that would make me more inclined because, you know, they take those things very seriously. Like when there's a religious institution attached, especially nowadays, guys, you know, was there sexual violence that was non-consensual? Okay, this is a big one. And how much accountability and personal transformation has there been? All right, guys, we got our work cut out for us. So let's go. All right. First off, was he really suicidal? Oh, um, yes, I would be inclined to say yes. So we got the seven of wands in reverse. So seven of wands upright is standing your ground. So, you know, the, the maddening crowd is saying, you know, have another beer, don't go home. Uh, take a hit of this reefer, you know, buy those shoes. And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do me. Even if it looks weird to you guys, I'm going to do me. So this is a card of letting go, of going with the current, of like not making a fuss, of just like, ugh. And so I got this card famously when I was like contacting my grandmother who's on the other side. And I was like, is grandpa going to die before or after Christmas? Uh, so this was in 2021 when I asked her this. And uh, she said before she and it was this card in reverse, the seven of wands. And so I interpreted that to mean before Christmas and he did die before Christmas. So this is a card of letting go. And like in in this context, letting go of life, letting go of the will to live, letting go of all of that. So, yes, there there wasn't a strong element of suicide. Um, did the sexual abuse happen? Oh, what a weird way of putting it. This is a very strange way of putting it. So we got the eight of wands in reverse. So we know what this means upright. Swift completion destination towards a goal. Um, so it's kind of like if you could picture eight darts hitting a bullseye, it would be like this card. So in reverse, it's a card of like all that energy just kind of like wafting around in space. So sometimes it just means slowly, slowly arriving at a destination, but it's a weird way to put this. Because usually it just means slow, slow arrival, but arrival was slow. So it could mean something happening slowly over time. It could mean like undirected uh, action. So let's just put this card aside, see what the other card says. Was it the youth pastor? Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, well, we got the temperance card upright. So the temperance card, this almost like looks like a pastor if you like take away the wings. Um, and it's about, it's a card of bringing things into balance. So was it the youth pastor? I am, I'm going to have to pull one more card for this because I need clarification. Okay. Um, the d Did any non-consensual sexual violence happen between him and any of the women? No, 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 no. So this is the strength card. If this had been in reverse, I would have been like, ah, ah, ah. But this is like the wild masculine and the, like the divine feminine taming. It's the two different energetic forces coming together to, um, you know, make something more powerful. So, you know, the fact that the infinity sign is above her head, it indicates, you know, this could, this is a great card that would be an example for S&M or bondage. I got this card when I was asking about a guy and I was like, He's not going to, like, spread that stuff I told him to the rest of the office. And they're like, no, like, I got this card, which means, like, you've made it clear, like, he needs to shut his mouth. So, and he did. So that was good. So this is, this is a classic card for, like, kink or, like, you know, BDSM, like, classic. This, had this been in reverse, very different story. I would have felt otherwise. But this is, in this card, the woman is in control, you know, and she's closing the mouth and the jaws and the big teeth and saying, no, no, no. And has he actually changed? Has he actually taken any personal accountability or is this all just for show? Oh, okay, well, he's beginning. This is a page of wands, this is a great card. So they're saying like, he's new at this, he's starting down a path of, you know, new path. So that would signify transformation. It's the beginning for him, but he he's beginning this long journey of transformation, so yeah. So the cards are saying like, no, he's not like a new person overnight, but like, I want to pull one more card and let's just ask about the molestation when he was like a minor person. Okay. Was Army Hammer sexually assaulted when he was a minor person? Hmm. You know, I would, you know, I'd be inclined to say like, we got the emperor. So 
The Emperor is Major Arcana, so what that would indicate is like, you know, a major event in one's life. And this is a this is a, a slightly more oppressive card. You know, it has, you know, ruled by Mars, Aries the Ram. You know, this is like the old way of doing things, you know, the patriarchy, the tr old tradition, men running things, men in control. So it has that sort of like coldness of like the father figure. It, it, it can be like the coldness of men looking out for men and men doing things that benefit men. So this could also be interpreted as like, you know, the perversions that men sort of hush up over time. So I... Based, with this card, based on the other three that we've pulled, I would say yes. I would say yes, particularly because upon reflection, you know, the Eight of Wands in reverse is sort of like disjointed, more chaotic energy. So that's what I've got for you guys. You know, comment below. What do you think of a... Did you read the article? What do you think of Army Hammer's apparent transformation? Put your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.